going on with my technology today. Um, so sorry about that, don't know what's going on with technology today, but um, I will go back to my drawing that I had before. So this is just a continuation of the previous um, um, of the previous discussion that I was having about insulinoma. Uh, so let's just look here. So can you can you guys hear me? Can you give me a thumbs up or anything? If you can hear me or just let me know. I'm sorry about all the technical de uh, def or difficulties that I'm having. Um, anyway, so um, when we look at the pancreas in the dog here, we see we've got the gallbladder, common bile duct going into the major duodenal papilla here, minor duodenal, duodenal papilla down here, right or left limb of the pancreas there, the angle of the pancreas and then the right limb of the pancreas there, we have duodenum sitting here, pylorus into the, um, uh, the antrum and the fundus of the stomach there. And so I usually think about uh, insulinomas as being in one of three different zones. Um, so I've got the left limb of the pancreas, I have the right limb of the pancreas, and I have the angle or the uh, angle of the pancreas here. Now, Tumors that are in the left limb of the pancreas are really easy to remove. Basically, we just use a ligature and cut it off like this. And we, we like no matter where the uh, insulinoma is on that left limb of the pancreas, if it's all the way down here, we just amputate the distal part of the pancreas with a ligature there. If it's up here, we can take it off up here. And we really have no functional deficits there. There's plenty of uh, pancreas to produce insulin and digestive enzymes. And so removing that whole left limb of the pancreas is no problem at all. The right limb of the pancreas can be more challenging because of the association with the duodenum. And so if you have a pancreatic tumor or an insulinoma that's down here, that's fairly easy to remove. But when you start getting up into this region right here, they can be quite adherent to the duodenum. And so when you remove that limb of the pancreas, you also have to remove sometimes uh, a section of the duodenum and do a resection and anastomosis, which can be a tricky surgery. And then uh, the worst case scenario is if it's in the angle of the pancreas, because then you basically have to remove the entire pancreas, um, making them a diabetic and also uh, giving them pancreatic uh, digestive enzyme insufficiency. And then the other thing that we have to do is reroute some way or another, reroute the gallbladder um, or the the bile flow via the gallbladder to the intestine. So what you're left with is a surgery that looks like this. So you have the pylorus there, you have duodenum here, you've removed all of the, um, all of the pancreas, and then we're re reattaching the common bile, or the um, gallbladder to um, the duodenum, creating what's called a uh, cholecystoduodenostomy. And this is known as a Whipple procedure. There are only probably about three or four surgeons in all of Australia that are happy to do a Whipple procedure. I've done one with, I think, probably not great results. I can't really remember, it's been a while. Um, so it's not a procedure that you wanna get yourself into. So just to review, uh, let me put this back on me. Um, so with um, insulinomas, this dog is an 11 year old boxer that presented with a history of seizures and muscle twitching. They did a blood sugar and found that the glucose was very low, did an insulin at the same time and found that the insulin levels were very high. And so if you have low blood sugar in the face of an elevated insulin, it is either uh, an insulinoma or iatrogenic excessive administration of insulin. Um, and so we've made the diagnosis of insulinoma. We haven't done any diagnostics on it yet, but we are gonna take it uh, hopefully next week to CT. Um, confirm the diagnosis, remembering that uh, insulinomas generally do not contrast enhance, so you get what's called a negative contrast uh, or a negative enhancement where you have the rest of the pancreas lit up by the contrast material, but the uh, insulinoma is darker. Um, and we're going to look for the location of the insulinoma uh, based on where it is on the pancreas. So we've got the left limb of the pancreas, the angle of the pancreas, the right limb and the pancreas. The ones that are in the left limb are very easy to remove. The ones that are in the right limb can be tricky to remove because of the proximity to the, to the duodenum. And then the ones in the angle in the pan, of the pancreas are virtually impossible to remove without doing a full Whipple procedure, which means that we're gonna remove the entire pancreas 
and then do a cholecystoidotinostomy to, to reestablish bile flow, and those patients are going to be uh, diabetic, and they're going to be um, EPI or exocrine pancreatic insufficient. Um, and also remember that about 30% of these are going to metastasize to the lymph nodes, the liver, or the lungs. Um, and so we're going to look for that on CT. Anyway, if there are any questions about that, please post them in the comments. And um, we will see you again soon.